I'm, oh, I'm, sorry. Yeah, Go let ahead. me start with a couple announcements. First, um, <clears throat> CC uh, will not be on our roster for the division series. Um, and then our starters uh, tomorrow will be James Paxton. Masahiro will go in game two with Seve in game three. So with that. Okay. Yeah. With that, we'll start with questions for Aaron. Meredith? Why did you decide James Paxton was your best option to go in game one, and how difficult was the decision between those three pitchers? Yeah, um, difficult decision. Frankly, I went back and forth on it, um, you know, daily, sometimes a few times over the course of a day and really what it came down to it, it, the reason that was is because I feel like all those guys are in a good place and and I, I throw Jay Happ in that mix too who I feel like is throwing the ball as well as he has at any point in the season so felt like it was a good decision um, and then just trying to you know hopefully maximize those guys as, as best we can and uh, so frankly I would have been comfortable going a lot of different ways with those guys but feel like James is the guy to get us off on the right foot. Eric? Aaron, uh, with CC, is that a matter of his knee just not being quite right, or is it a strategic? No, it's 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 actually more shoulder, not bouncing back. Um, uh, just, just wasn't bouncing back as well as we would have hoped in Texas. Um, he ended up getting a cortisone shot, was able to go out and throw in a sim game Tuesday. Um, and, and frankly threw the ball pretty well, but just not quite, you know, where it needs to be, to be in the kind of role we're going to ask him to be in where, you know, he's potentially getting up on the spot and then maybe having to get up later in the game. Um, just probably not real comfortable with that. He'll continue to, to work and, um, you know, try and get himself, um, as ready as he can to be an option moving forward but felt like this was the best thing for him and for us. Okay. Aaron, your main reliever has wound up getting a, a fair amount of rest uh, the last few weeks. How much of that was by design? How much of that was kind of organic just because where the, the games were, where the teams were, and, and how beneficial do you think that could be? Um, I, I think we played it pretty straight, frankly. Um, you know, always mindful of, of their usage, um, you know, striking that balance between trying to keep them sharp but keeping them fresh and rested. And, you know, frankly, that didn't really change much at all down the stretch. Obviously, the last game where we were down a bunch, we wanted to make sure those guys threw because most of them hadn't in the first two games. Um, you know, but keeping them as sharp as possible was something that we're, we, we certainly were trying to do. Eric, go ahead. In terms of the rest of the roster, you said last night you were hoping to finalize mm -hmm. those decisions. Have those decisions been finalized? Yeah, pretty much. But we'll we'll keep it. I know you guys would love to have it, but <laughs> um, we don't have to give that out till tomorrow morning. So we'll uh, we'll we'll take advantage of that on some level. Can you give an indication whether you went with twelve or thirteen pitchers? Uh, it'd be like Christmas morning tomorrow. You wake up and <laughs> you got something waiting for you under the tree. Okay. George, go ahead. How about a lineup? <laughs> and get that that stocking. To uh, uh, that'll be uh, that'll be a bonus gift for you. Round the round the corner. Uh, what's your plan for a hap at this point? Um. <clears throat> So Jay will be an option for us right away, you know. Um, again, feel like there's p potential role for him in these first couple of games. But then, you know, after that over there, he'll fall into the mix as, you know, a possible starter for us. Could use him as a as a bulk guy. Um, we'll try and have him prepared for a lot of different roles. Um, but he'll certainly... Um, in some way, shape, or form, be in play these first two games. And how does not having CC impact the rest of the, the pitching staff? Because that was a multi-inning guy you thought you were going to have. Yeah, <clears throat> although frankly, you know, I mean, that was potentially one of the roles we saw with CC, but it was more a couple of lanes, even potentially a 
couple of short lanes where a lefty hitter or switch hitter, those kind of things. So I kind of envisioned them maybe a little more in some shorter roles. Um, you know, obviously we won't have them for this series. So, but I wasn't looking at them so much as, as a bulk guy. Um, because I thought there were some a couple of matchups that we liked that we thought he would he would be good in. Ron? In formulating roster and lineup, how heavily do you weigh September slumps? I mean, I would say everything matters and everything factors into, you know, trying to put what we think is the best people in the best positions to succeed. I mean, I don't really know how to answer that. I mean, it, it all matters, and we're trying to make evaluations and judgments about what gives us best chance to win game one against the Twins and, and beyond that, you know. Um, so I'd say to some degree it all factors in, um, but it's not, you know, this happens, so he plays. You know, we're we're trying to – we're trying to predict, you know, a little bit and, and make evaluations. You mentioned you saw uh, CC as more of a matchup guy, you know, um, and I know his splits against lefties have been very good this year. Do you um, see him, or rather, do you, do you see anyone else uh, filling that kind of role of like a lefty on lefty sort of matchup person? Sure. I mean, other guys are going to have to step up into that role. So we'll have hopefully some options there. We also have, you know, a lot of our right-handed pitchers are, you know, you would even classify as reverse split right-handed pitchers. So more adept at getting left-handed hitters out, but yeah, so we'll have people to fill those roles um, and, and expect them to fill them, fill them well. Jack in the back. Aaron, I know every game, every pitcher and every situation is different, but you've been pretty adamant about saying you're going to be aggressive and going to your bullpen. Can you be a little more specific about what kind of leash you're going to give to your starters? Um, not really. I mean, you know, we'll have a, a, a good idea going into the game of, of certain matchups we like, certain lanes we like for particular pitchers. Um, you know, but then you're still watching and evaluating what's going on, you know, you know, starting out with packs, you know, reality is if he's throwing the ball really well, he's probably our best option uh, for a good chunk of the game. So, but we'll, uh, you know, especially coming into that first game where you have four days off, where you have a very well-rested bullpen and hopefully guys that you can extend even more, um, you know, if, if we like a better matchup, you know, we won't hesitate to go to it. Sweeney in the front. Minnesota is one of the teams that gave you some trouble in the second half just because of the way they, you know, they match up offensively. A lot of lefties, switch hitters. The Cleveland was kind of the same way. Uh, how does that impact what you're trying to do, trying to get guys into your lanes, as you say, when they can disrupt that? Yeah, no question. And that's where um... – you know, having having the option of having both handed guys down there matters. Taking advantage of our of our guys that get the other hand out well or even better. So um it makes it a little bit more of a challenge, but we feel like with most of our guys, um and especially our high leverage guys, uh, they're they're pretty adept at whatever hand you throw at them. If we're throwing the ball well, they're equipped to handle that. James. Now, Masahiro in his career, uh, and especially this year, I think was better at home than on the road. Was that why you slated him for, for game two, or were there other no. reasons why? Actually, I had nothing to do with my decision. Um, you know, con considered Masa for one, considered Sevi. You know, they are all, in my mind, considerations, and that didn't really play in. You know, I've, I've heard a lot about, you know, the Masa and the splits and everything. Most of our guys, I think, have been better at home. Um uh, you know, I think a lot of Moss's numbers this year, if you dig a little deeper, two games kind of skewed that quite a bit. You look at some of the underlying things, 
he's not much of a different pitcher either place. The bottom line is if he's throwing the ball the way he's capable of uh, in top of his game, we feel like he's a good matchup anywhere. Okay. Dan? How is uh, Judge's shoulder, and do you expect that to be a factor? He's he's good. I don't expect it to be a factor. So the, just the time off was enough yeah. for him? Yeah, and, he, and even the last weekend when got him back out in right field felt like uh, – he was doing fine and responded well. So, yeah, look at him as totally good to go. Marley? Um, do we expect Encarnacion or is another? You want me to enunciate? There we go. <laughs> um, yesterday went well with Edwin. So want to see how he is coming in today. But um, my expectation is, yes, he will He will be on the roster. We'll take one more for Aaron. Mark? Aaron, you didn't have Stanton and Judge in the lineup together very often this year. How different of a look do you think it gives your lineup when the two of them are both in there? I'm excited about, in my mind, what we're going to run out there tomorrow night. Um, you know, the length that it has. Um, <clears throat> you guys know, when talking to me, how important I place and just making it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And and you do that sometimes in numbers. And, you know, even when a pitcher makes it through a lineup a time or two, um, as long as we're routinely making it difficult. Um, I feel like eventually that serves us well. And, and with John Carlo and the guys that we think we're getting back here for, for, for game one, um, I feel like our, our lineup has that ability to, to be long and, and to be able to wear you down just with the bad quality. So that's something I'm looking forward to seeing. Okay. Aaron, okay. thank you so much for the time.